broken cyber power PC versus a piece of styrofoam. Who will win? This is a brand new cyber poop PC and it's in my repair shop because it won't boot. It powers on but has no display. Man, the motherboard lights indicate there's a problem with the GPU. Now you don't have to be the greatest technician that's ever lived. To know it's bad for a graphics card to do the Carolina squat. What's especially aggravating is the fact this 7800 XT already has the holes for a support bracket. And where there's holes, there's goals. But apparently the goal of cyber power was to save 10 bucks by not including it. And the outcome of that decision is a PCB that's warped worse than my sense of humor and money that's more wasted than me watching the SpongeBob Super Bowl. But my goal is to get this thing up and running long enough for my customer to submit a warranty claim. So first I try another slot and surprisingly it still works. So let's try it in the SAG slot, but with some support from my specially crafted three inch piece of styrofoam. It's not the first time I've used a white three inch tool to support something so heavy, but this is only temporary until my customer can buy a proper support bracket. And wow, it actually worked. But is it stable? Let's set up a temp account to run a stress test and check. Oh, you're gonna be fucking 